Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sue and today I'm going to be giving you some insights into some of the makeup products that the Queen uses. Now, when I was doing my research for this video, I was absolutely astonished at the things that the Queen and I have in common, apart from the makeup. So we both wear a crown and we both apply our own makeup. The Queen only has her makeup professionally applied once a year and that is for the annual televised speech that she does on Christmas Day. On all other occasions she applies her own makeup. So now on to some of the makeup products that she uses and most of these products hold a royal warrant. So what is a royal warrant? It's an endorsement by top members of the royal family on a service or a product. So these are products or services that the royal family have been using in excess of five years and only the top royals are allowed to bestow a royal warrant so only the queen prince philip and prince charles are allowed to do this now not all the brands that hold a royal warrant are glamorous apart from cosmetics there are gin companies there are some really nice car companies of course but there are also things like baked beans <laughs> and even some pest control companies hold a royal warrant. And if you do have a royal warrant, you need to mind your P's and Q's because it can be taken away from you if your company comes into disrepute. So first up, I'm gonna be talking about Elizabeth Arden and they received a royal warrant in 1952. And the queen uses Elizabeth Arden lipsticks and you can often see her applying her lipstick in public and she does it without a mirror. So the one that I think she uses is the Elizabeth Arden lipstick in Breathless. She is famed for her bright pink lipsticks and I believe that this shade is one of them. Another product that she uses from the same brand is the iconic Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and apparently she is a big fan of this. Then on to Clarins. The Queen has got a long history with Clarins. She commissioned them to design a specific shade of lipstick to complement her coronation gown. So they do go way back, although according to my research, they only received a royal warrant in 2007. So that was quite recently. But one of the products that she uses is the Ever Matte Shine Control Powder. And I hope that she doesn't have an oily skin because this is more of a finishing powder than a shine control powder, I find. But she uses this one nonetheless. She also uses the Clarins Nail Treatment Cream. And then onto nail polish. The Queen is renowned for wearing a very, very understated nail polish. And the one that she uses is from Essie and it's in the shade Ballet Slippers. So it's a very, very understated pink and she has been using this since 1989. Some of the other products that the Queen uses are the English Lavender Soap by Yardley. She uses perfume from the perfume house Floris, although it's not known which fragrance she uses. People speculate that it could be White Rose. So apart from those products that are documented, it's very, very difficult to know what other products she uses. So I'm going to do a little bit of speculation myself. I think for foundation, she is an Estee Lauder girl, and I think that she uses Estee Lauder Double Wear. She's going to need a foundation that stays in place and does not budge for very long engagements. So I'm pretty sure she uses this. For mascara, I think she probably uses a drugstore brand, and my money is on the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, and she'll have no problem if she wears this all day. And then for blush, she's not renowned for wearing a lot of blush, and I think when she does, she just wears a little hint of it. And so for that, I would speculate that she uses something like the Clarins blush in the shade Golden Pink. And so guys, that's it for the Queen and I. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any product that she uses for sure. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.